you guys it's cam the dawn here and welcome back to my youtube channel so today i'm gonna be giving y'all my real virginity story time it's gonna be short and sweet because that's how it was short and not even sweet it was short and ass but um let's get right into it okay oh, okay so as y'all can see my hair is nice and blown out or semi blown out because I'm getting my hair done today. But yeah, I'm gonna be doing a get ready with me for my Cancun video. My can going to Cancun get ready with me video. So yeah, stay tuned for that right after this video. All right, so back in high school, freshman year high school, imagine, ain't that crazy? Freshman year high school, I lost my virginity to a guy that I thought I could trust. I'm not gonna consider him my ex like that because we didn't date for so too long, but he gave me that white girl fantasy. Like, I felt like I was in high school musical type shit, you know? I don't know. I was going through a phase. But, um, you know, peer pressure is a bitch because in high school, peer pressure is like, was the fucking new thing, like the new style or something. Like, people was wearing that bitch every damn day, and I was one of them. So, what had happened was, I had promised myself, I was like, bro, I'm not going to lose my virginity until I'm like 18, 18, 18, because I'm in a new state, and I'm getting older, and these guys, it's just one and one thing right now, and they almost is jumping, so, but yeah, so what happened was, all right, boom, 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 we used to ride the same bus together, we actually lived down the street from each other, ain't that crazy? Um, I just feel like it was convenient dick. <laughs> My 15-year-old ass thought it was convenient dick. But, um, yeah, so we used to ride the same bus together morning and afternoon. And at one point, we used to sit side by side. I didn't really want to sit next to him because I was still, like, young-minded. I didn't know. I didn't really. Mm -mm. So, um, one day, I decided to say, you know what? Let me give him a chance. And... What happened was where we had had our first, my first time was in my house. Um, but it wasn't in my room because I'm not a dumbass, okay? It was in my guest room. Thank you because you're a guest. And yeah, I didn't trust you like that to be in my room. So we um, we planned it out. We was like, all right, we're going to get off the bus Friday. And my parents not home. They come home around. Blah, blah, blah. So you can come as soon as we got the bus. You can walk me home. Blah, blah. He used to walk me home a lot. And we used to, like, stand by, stand next to the bus stop with each other, too, at one point. And he was like, all right, bet. So we was walking, walking, walking. He's like that country boy. Like, he's mixed with, like, Native American, black, and white, or something like that. And so he gives off a very country boy look. And he had the, the, the gap in his teeth and the fucking, yeah. I don't, I don't know what I was thinking, but I was like, listen, at the time I was thirsty and I yeah so i said all right we're gonna go to my house and we're gonna do it so that was the plan we got the bus he walked me and we went in the guest room and I sh we got naked and we did it but i didn't like it i just felt like i didn't want to consider that my first time because i didn't i didn't really like it i feel like you can consider your first time when you really like it like when y'all mutually like it like that because I didn't like it, and he was rushing, so um, I didn't consider that my first time at all. I, I just felt used, in a sense. That's why I didn't really want to tell this story time, because this is not this is my least favorite sex story ever. And I don't tell nobody this shit, unless I really, really fuck with you type shit. But, yeah. So, yeah, we went to the room, my bedroom. I mean, not my bedroom my guest room and took off my clothes and I just told him to go in easily like slow and this man he was going in slow but it was hurting I was like no bro like why do people like press about this shit like why do people love this shit so much like this feels like hell like I was about to turn gay I felt like if that that experience I could have turned gay I was curious after that because it was like bro this shit does not feel good at all the fuck this shit was not meant to go ahead 
But um, you know what I'm saying? He kept rushing. I didn't I wasn't feeling like it was romantic. Uh uh. My other story time, I consider it my first time just because I said, you know what? I had a dick after that. I just wanna just, you know, it wasn't too bad the second time. Um so when we was done when we was done, I got up and I was putting on my clothes. This man was already dressed. This man ran out the door. Like, he ran downstairs and left me. Like, didn't even say bye or nothing. I felt so used. Do you understand why I didn't want to tell this story time? Because I just felt, like, used, in a sense. Bad. He did me really bad. And then he want to come to me years later and make it seem like, you know what I'm saying, he was young and dumb. Make it seem like he was young and dumb. I'm like, I don't care if he was young or what. Because my first ex ever did me better than you. And we didn't even kiss. We didn't even kiss at all. The most we did was kiss on the cheek. That was it. And you gonna do me dirty like that? You was not that hot to do me dirty like that. Okay? So... Yeah, I walked. I was trying to walk to like say goodbye to him because I was hurting. You know, I was trying to like waddle to say bye, and this man was already gone. Slammed the door. Me and him had a few situations where I like felt like I was in the wrong. He made me feel like something wrong with me, and that I did something wrong. You know, and very manipulative. And I um, I remember one time we came. We was walking home from school. And I was like, no, nah, I, need, I, need, I think I need to apologize to him just because, I don't know, he just made me feel like after the sex, he just started shunning me, disrespecting me. It was a lot. And it was like, damn, bro. That's crazy. Like, you was all up on me when I was a virgin. Now I'm not a virgin. You, you, you acting like this. So I'm like, oh, wow. At one point, like, I had, I had like, tried to, like, no. He, I was walking to his door, and I'm like, hey, I need to talk to you. He was peeking, and he's, like, trying to slam the door in my face. But I was, like, trying to push it. Not, like, to push it to go in, but, like, push it to look at him. And he, like, he um slapped my arm down really hard and slammed the door in my face. So I told my dad about everything. And my dad was livid. Like, my dad came to my house, came to his house, and he was, like, asking his little brother, where's your older brother at? And he, you know, of course your little brother gonna lie for you. Cause I know he was in the house, the fuck. He ain't got no car. He ain't got no fucking car. Where the fuck would he be at? So... Yeah, my dad was ready to fight. He literally brought my ass over there with him and my mom. Like, that was embarrassing as hell. Like, I was like, really? Why do I need to come? The fuck? Why do I need to come? Like, we have the same face. He would have got the picture that you my dad. But anyway, this is the end of this story time. Okay? Please don't ask me to repeat this story time again because I really got mad and emotional talking about it because it's, like, my very first time that I didn't want to talk about. But... Yeah. You know, I like how this sun's hitting my hair. You know, I didn't dye my hair for real. This is semi-permanent, and this shit has been in my hair for fucking three weeks. Like, I was trying to wash this shit the fuck out so I can get my hair done, because my hair is 1B. The color is 1B, and this shit is, like, showing like a motherfucker. I'm scared. I hope she, like, hides this bitch. But if y'all like this video, please like, comment, subscribe, and tell me what y'all think down in the comment section below. And all my dons and don daughters, be yourself. Period. Huh? Cause if you don't, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you, boo. I don't know what to tell you, boo. I don't know what to tell you, boo. I need to uh, start doing face masks. Look at this shit. Bro. This is unacceptable. But I need to start losing weight. Look at my hair. My hair for that turned out great. <laughs> okay, but see y'all next time. Bye, y'all.